Hello and welcome to day 30 of Me, Myself and I. I'm sat outside and I can't tell whether this was a good idea or a bad idea because of the wind. I'll find out when I'm editing. Might have to redo this video. Fingers crossed I don't. I know we are now officially in June. It is no longer May, but it's fitting because today's word is apologies. And I apologize for missing two or three days within the month of May. I think it was three. This is Aurora. Yeah. Come on, if you wanna chill out with me, you can sit down. If you're not gonna sit down, you need to go away. Don't, don't. Aurora. So, apologies is the word for today. And I haven't really decided what I'm gonna talk about because I feel like it's such a general word and such a general topic. I could easily talk about how you should never apologize for who you are and for feeling the way you feel. I could talk about actually apologizing and how hard it is sometimes just to hold your hands up and be like, yeah, I, I was wrong. But I feel like both of those things I've talked about before. For some reason, I'm compelled to talk about my YouTube channel, I guess. I've had to make a lot of apologies over the years about uh, stupid things that I've said and I've upset people um, and I've had to not had to, I've wanted to make videos to say sorry and apologise for uh, not thinking before I spoke or saying something that I genuinely thought was right but just wasn't educated enough on the subject. And I'm always more than happy to apologise when I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. There's no two ways about it. I just need to be like, I'm wrong and I'm sorry. But then there are things that I feel the need to apologize for that I don't necessarily have to apologize for. And it's less that I'm apologizing to you, it's more that I'm apologizing to myself. And something that I feel the need to apologize for is not trying harder on this channel, I guess, which kind of isn't really anyone's fault because life gets in the way and I've prioritized things as I have felt the need to prioritize them. I've always said with all of my jobs there are like tiers of how much creative control I have and therefore how I need to prioritize those jobs. So for instance musical theatre I have very little creative control. I'm told where to stand, I'm told what to wear, I'm told what to sing, I'm told what to say and my creative control is as an actor which is you know how I feel I should play those roles but I contractually have to be there when I'm told and I basically I have to do as I'm told. Writing, I'm given a deadline but that deadline will be like six months from now, a year from now. So there's much more creative freedom with that but I still eventually have to answer to my editor and the publishing house. But the thing that I have 100% creative control over is YouTube which means when it comes to deadlines and schedules and prioritizing YouTube always has to come at the bottom because it's something that I choose to do just because I want to which ultimately means my YouTube channel has kind of suffered over the years and I've tried to find ways to incorporate theatre into YouTube by vlogging backstage but then it got to a point like I said maybe like 20 videos ago that when I'm not in a show I don't know what to vlog about anymore because I've spent so long vlogging something very specific and as soon as that specific thing is taken away and I'm in the gap between shows, I'm like, I don't know what to talk about anymore. I, are people even still interested in me as a person? And when I asked this in said video, however long ago it was, I was lovingly reassured by you guys that you are very much interested. But then it gets to a point when I do something like this, which is, you know, a video every day and it's very much all just based around me and how I think, I lose 6,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, you know. And I know I shouldn't think about numbers and I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't and I never really have done YouTube for the likes. Back when I started YouTube, I didn't even know that it was gonna go where it went. But when you take a big hit like that, and you take a big hit like that based on the content that you're making that you really enjoy, that's very much about you as a person and how you think, you kinda can't not be affected by that just a little bit. You're gonna see that dip and a little part of you's gonna go, oh, that, that sucks. And this doesn't mean that I'm now gonna turn around and be like, how can I stay relevant? Because again, I, I can't keep up with what's relevant anymore. So I'm definitely not gonna start doing like, I'm trying to name like some kind of tag or challenge 
that's cool right now and I don't know, I don't know. So I'm still always gonna make content that I would wanna watch if someone else had made it. But it's always nice to know that you're making content that other people like as well, I guess. I don't know, so this video is basically me sort of apologizing to myself for not finding the time or not having the time, I guess. Because you can't really find the time if the time just isn't there. Not putting the effort into this channel or putting the effort into these videos that I used to put into and wanted to continue putting into. I get asked quite a lot, if you had to just pick one thing to do for the rest of your life, what would it be? And my answer is always musical theatre because that's what I've been working towards the longest. But just because YouTube happens later on down the line doesn't mean I love it any less than musical theatre. I just have a loyalty to musical theatre that will never be lessened or taken away by anything else. So at some point something has to suffer and it's always been YouTube because that's the thing that I don't have deadlines for, I don't answer to anyone, so I don't feel like I'm letting anyone down, I guess. But then I get to the end of it and I'm like, the only person I've let down is myself really because I've let something suffer that I love so much. So I guess, weirdly, annoyingly, this video is to myself. Carrie, past Carrie, past YouTube Carrie. It's way past my bedtime, Carrie. I am sorry for letting what you built up and what you worked so hard for be the thing that suffers the most. And I'm kind of sorry, not sorry, because what we gave it up for, musical theatre, and that is something we have now won awards for, <laughs> which is pretty cool. The sacrifice was worth it. It was having your name on the poster outside of the Theatre Royal Haymarket. It's pretty cool. But that doesn't make it any less rubbish when you see your channel take a big hit when you come back and you start making things that you care about again and all of a sudden you realise no one cares as much anymore because you've just not been maintaining it as you should have been. So, sorry past Carrie. I will see you tomorrow.